welcoming the chief of naval operations. The buzzword in Bath today was teamwork. As a sailor who's commanded a Bath built ship and, a, and has sailed on another, uh, they are quite a capable warship. Admiral Michael Gilday making his first visit to BIW, seeing its latest destroyer, the USS Daniel Inouye, five years in the making, already tested at sea. When deployed, the 500-foot-long, 9,500-ton ship will carry 3,000 sailors and be armed with 50-caliber machine guns and 96 surface-to-air missiles. Bath is on a path here to, to begin to deliver two ships a year by the end of the year. That's a very strong trajectory for Bath Ironworks, and it's not without a lot of hard work during a pandemic to get to that point. The company's workforce, now more than 7,000, in the midst of a hiring spree. 800 of 2,000 new jobs being created this year already filled. Maine senators describing a turnaround in morale since last year's strike. There's a new spirit of cooperation between the unions and the management. Uh, they're all focused on one goal, which is meeting schedules and meeting budgets. The senators are committed to seeing a 350-ship Navy, the fleet currently 55 ships shy of that goal. It is so important that we have an adequate budget so that we can continue ensuring that we have the best naval fleet in the world. Looking ahead, BIW is already under contract with its one client, the Navy, to build 10 more destroyers over the next five years. In Bath, Phil Hirschkorn, WMTW News 8.